it's Anna here from Astro Hygiene. I just wanted to do a jump on and just do a really quick live um, about our this week's blog, um, which is about color co coded cleaning items. So it's available on the website now. You can have a quick look at it, um, and you can find that at www.astrohygiene.co.uk/blogs. Follow us on Facebook. Give us a share on Instagram and um, we also have our own YouTube channel. So this, this week's blog is about um, colour coding your cleaning items like brushes, mops, mop head, handles, etc. Um, and we have kind of touched on this in the past um, in the environmental health series. So we kind of thought it would be a good opportunity to expand upon this so that um, we can like really kind of get into it and why it's important. So in terms of colour coding, I, I mean assigning a colour to a specific area. So you can kind of decide which colours you want for which areas, but the kind of rule of thumb is um, green is for the kitchen, red is for sanitary areas, blue is for kind of low risk areas. Um, but as long as your signage is clear and that everybody has been given training, then, then they, they will know that blue is for hallways. So blue mops are for hallways, blue buckets are for hallways, blue cloths are for hallways, blue dustpan and brushes for hallways. And this is so that it's to avoid cross-contamination. So red is for sanitary areas. So you would use red mops, buckets, brushes, cloths, sponges, etc., in the toilets. Um, and this then avoids you basically dragging any kind of um, fecal bacteria from your toilets into your hallways or more importantly, from your toilets into your kitchens. So you need to be using separate kind of cleaning utensils um, to make sure that cross contamination doesn't occur. Um, and this is kind of best practice and environmental health will want to see this. They'll want to see posters up. They'll want to see a, a range of color of dustpan and brushes and mops, etc. They'll want to see this. Although there is no real legal requirement, it is kind of best practice dictates and it's what environmental health would like to see. So at Astral, we do stock a range of, we stock the full color of um, mops. We stock, stock the full um, colour of brushes, dustpan and brushes, mop heads, etc. And we actually run with two different kinds of mops. We have the kind of ropey ply ones and we've got the cloth mops, um, which are quite like Vileda. Um, so anybody out there who's a fan of Vileda, you can get these um, from us in colour coding, whereas on Vileda, um, if, you're, if you're looking for Vileda colour coded mops, you pay through the nose for them. They are absolutely extortionally expensive. Up, upwards, I think, of um, £20 for a mop head, um, whereas our, our colour coded ones, I think we sell them for like £2.35. So, you know, the, the logic is there. Um, all of our mop heads fit on. Um, we've got, got one handle that fits on everything. So it's kind of, it makes it kind of easy um, to kind of um, change your mop head, etc., and um, color coding your mop buckets. Um, so that's all from me today. Um, have a nice weekend when it comes. Bye.